Hi everyone, Lemmy is here. In this video, we are going to create a deep learning model that classifies sea animal images using PyTorch and Python. So first, we will download the dataset from Kaggle. I will put the link in the description. Our dataset contains many different classes of sea animals that we will use in this project. Here are some examples of some classes. In this example, we will use a Google Collab section because we will need a GPU. So here we will click on change runtime and we will select GPU and OK. I uploaded the dataset to my Google Drive account. So first we will need to import from Google Collab Drive and then I will write drive.mount.content slash drive so I can use my dataset that I uploaded before. I will run this command and I will connect to my Google Drive account. I will next unzip this file that I uploaded from my Google Drive account to a new folder called data. We run this command and here you can see a new folder is created called data. In this new folder, we will find the different classes of the images that we will be using. Next, I will download and install a new library called split folders because I need this library to um, split the data set, the folder data, into training and validation sets. I will choose the ratio 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 for the training and the validation sets. The new folder will be called output and we will, it will contain the train and the validation sets. Next, we will create our PyTorch model. So first we will import Torch, we will import ENN, we will import Optin and LR scheduler. Also, we will import CAD NNN and MP, Torch Vision. From Torch Vision, we will import datasets, models, and transforms. We will import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. We will import time, import copy. Next, we will apply data augmentation on our training dataset and we will apply normalization on the validation dataset. So in the first transformation, we will apply random resized, random horizontal flip. We will transform them to tensors by using transforms.toTensor. And we will normalize the pictures by using transforms.normalize. This will be applied to the training dataset. The second transformation is the test transforms. We will apply resize, center crop. We will transform the pictures into tensors and we will normalize them. We will specify the directory of the training and the test sets. Here we will create two datasets, one for the training and one for the test by using image folder and the directory of the training and the test sets and applying the transformations.
Here we will use data loader to load our data sets for the training and the test sets. We will specify the batch size, the shuffle to true, and the number of workers to four. Here the class names we will use the train dot classes to specify the classes that we have in our data set. Next we will write device equal torch dot device cuda zero if torch dot cuda is available else it will write a CPU. So uh, this line will allow us to know if we are using a GPU or a CPU. Now I will run my code. Uh, as you can see, I have CUDA 0, so I'm using a GPU. Now I will use this function that I got from PyTorch website to visualize some images from my dataset. Here we have lobster and other classes. Now we will define our training function. So here, dev train model. We will have as parameters model, criterion, optimizer, scheduler, and the number of epochs. Here, uh, I will specify by default 25. In this example, we will be using transfer learning. So we will copy the weights of another pre-trained model. So first we will write best model WTS weights equal copy dot deep copy model dot state dict. So here it will copy the weights of the pre-trained model. Next we will initialize the best uh, accuracy to zero. Now we will create a loop for each epoch in the range of the number of epochs. So first it will print the number of the epoch. So epoch divided on the number of epochs minus one. Now we will iterate between two phases, the train phase and the validation phase. If the phase equal train, we will set our model to the training model by using model.train. Then the dataset loader will equal train loader and the dataset size will equal the length len the training set train len train. Else if we have phase equal validation val the model we will set the model to the evaluating model so we will write model.eval and data set loader will equal test loader with the data set sizes equal the length of the test. We will initialize the running loss to zero and running corrects to zero also. Now we will iterate over the data. So for the inputs and the labels in the data set loader, we will send them to the device to run on our device on our GPU. Next, we will set zero to the parameter gradient. So by using optimizer dot zero grad. Then we will track the history if we have the phase equal train. So with torch dot set grad enable phase equal train. Outputs equal model inputs and the predictions equal torch dot max outputs and one. The loss will equal criterion outputs labels. Also, if we have the training phase, we will backward and use the optimizer. So loss dot backward and optimizer dot step. Now the running loss will equal plus the loss dot item multiplied by inputs dot size zero. Running corrects will equal plus torch dot sum frets 
equal to label.data. If the phase equal training train, the scheduler dot step. The epoch loss will equal the running loss divided by the data set sizes and the epoch accuracy equal the running correct dot double divided by the data set sizes. We will print the phase, the loss, the epoch loss, and the accuracy. Now we want to deep copy the best model, so if phase equal validation val and the epoch accuracy is better than the best accuracy, so the best accuracy will take the epoch accuracy and the best model weights will copy dot deep copy the model dot stat dict. Now we will print those data and we will print the best validation accuracy and then we will load the best model weights by writing model.load start dict best model wts and this function will return this model, the best model. Now we want to visualize the model predictions. I will be using this code from the PyTorch website. First, I will set the model to do evaluation mode. Was training equal model dot training the model dot eval, and images so far I will set this variable to zero, and I will define the fig equal plt dot figure. I will define a loop for e inputs labels in enumerate test loader with torch.nograd I will send the inputs and the labels to the device we are using outputs equal model inputs predictions equal torch.max outputs one like in the previous function for G in range inputs dot size the image so far we will add one ex it will equal plt dot subplot the number of images slash slash two two and the images so far ex dot x is off and ex dot set title we will write this title predicted the class names Preds g the im show inputs dot cpu dot data if images so far equal number images the model the model dot train the most equal was training then return model dot train mode equal was training the pre-trained model we will be using in this example is resnet eighteen. So first we will define the model ft equal models resnet 18 pre-trained equal true and then the number ftrs equal model ft dot fc in features now the model ft dot fc equal nn dot linear the number of features ftrs and the number of classes that we have here, which is 19. Then we will send our model to our device, model ft equal model ft dot to device, criterion equal nn dot cross entropy loss. Here we, will, we want to define the loss function. Then the optimizer ft will equal option dot sgd, so we'll use the sgd uh, optimizer. We will specify lr and the momentum by values. Then the lr scheduler, so we will 
write x LR scheduler equal LR scheduler dot step LR optimizer ft then step size equal to 7 and the gamma equal to 0 0.1 we will run this command now we will train our model and run the visualize model function Here we can see some images, the prediction labeled with them using our model. Here I tested our model with a new image that I downloaded from the internet. And here we see that the model classified it as jellyfish, which is true because the image is a jellyfish image you will find the code of this project on github the link will be in the description thanks for watching and if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe and you can ask your questions in the comment section below